Welcome back to Satisfactory, folks. It has been a while, and I have been really busy. As you can see, we are quite high up here, and we can get even higher. And I want to show you what I have been doing. So in the last one, we had finally had... Uh, what? Plates and screws being made and I also had a bit of reinforced plates being made down here but a lot has changed since then uh, as, as you can probably see we have a lot of belts going coming over here let's uh, let's go up take it uh, level by level and see what we have so here we have our iron smelting which you've all seen before. I added in a few more smelters. So we now have, uh, let's see, uh, 480 plates being made on each side, I think it is. Yeah. So 960 plates we're making, and, or uh, not plates. Um, what are they called? Ingots. Iron ingots. And so, yeah, uh, quite a lot of ingots being made. Let's head up to the next level. Up here, we're making plates and uh, iron rods. And here, I set up some, uh, some more uh, machines making plates. And we could set more up, but I don't think we need to. I don't think we need to. And we have this weird contraption here, which is basically sending two-thirds to the top here, which is going up, and a third down to, to our uh, personal storage. Up here we have the screw machines on the next level, and they are heading out this way underneath the floor, and over here, we are sending most of the screws up and a few screws down to storage. But we are producing 260 screws times three here, and, and we need pretty much all of them, I think. So let's head up here. Up here, we have steel smelting. So we are producing steel. We are doing it with the alternate uh, recipe. And we are producing quite a bit of steel. Uh, let's see, how much is it? It's uh, 60 per minute per machine. And we have nine machines. So that would be 540 steel ingots uh, that we are producing. And over here... Uh, we are producing um, steel plates, which are coming out here. And this is just a little buffer chest that I made. And here we have our screw production, and we're using the alternate recipe. Whoa, I fell down there. Let's go back up. Uh, a little whoopsie. Because we are, I have a hole here. Because we we're going down, obviously. So we're using the steel beam screws. So we're producing 260 uh, screws per minute from five steel beams, which is really nice. And you can see we have three lines going up, and then there's one going down as well. We'll take a look from the outside afterwards here. So, next floor, we are producing several things. Let's uh, start down at this end. So here we are producing uh, reinforced iron plates. We have three machines making them for a total of uh, 15 reinforced iron plates a minute. It's not a lot, but it's enough. 
uh, over here we're producing modular frames we have one two three machines making those as well that's just six per minute but it's enough we don't need more because this is a temporary base it's just to get us going right it's just to get us going so the reinforced plates are coming down this way and being used in the modular frames here we're using nine of the 15 that we're making and sending six down uh, to storage and we are also sending the um, actually we're not sending yeah we are sending the reinforced plates down to storage as well and here we're sending the modular frames down to storage and obviously here we have screws coming up for for the plates here so yeah then over here we're producing rotors we have five machines producing rotors for a total of 20 rotors a minute and we have enough screws for that we have uh, two rows of screws coming here and they are actually merging for the middle machine here uh, because it's 200 uh, we send 200 over here 200 over there and then we need a hundred here in the middle which we don't have on a single belt so they these guys merge uh, to give us a hundred for, for this machine and then this belt is actually sending 20 a minute down uh, to, to storage well it has the capacity to send 20 a minute down to storage okay then here we are making encased industrial beams and that's all good we're producing uh, 18 a minute from steel beams and concrete I haven't uh, made an output for those yet and I haven't made an output for the rotors yet either and I'm thinking that we can make probably staters on this level as well uh, that's my idea anyway that we'll have stator production on this level as well because we don't have that production yet so of, of what we can make now we are missing staters and motors we're making everything else we're making everything else so staters and motors are what we're missing and then of course the uh, the stuff for the space elevator but we'll simply do that down on our storage level because that's not a permanent fixture let's move up again up here we have copper smelting and we are producing what is it uh, 270 in each on each side here is for a total of 540 uh, copper ingots and that's just the standard recipe that we're using we have the copper coming up here and coming up there moving over over here we are making uh, concrete and concrete is we're, we're producing 180 concrete 90 of it is going to the uh, encased industrial beams and 90 is going down to storage we need a lot of concrete uh, for building so yeah that's what we're doing here and I kind of like this uh, this look that we have these guys hanging overhead and uh, the the concrete coming out here I think that looks pretty good even though uh, I mean this is this building is not necessarily made to look good because it's temporary uh, uh, lo though long-term temporary but it still is temporary because it's just a building to get us started on our uh, decentralized production chain up here our highest level so far will definitely go up at least one more for the motors but up here we are making uh, wire we are producing uh, I think it's 540 wire or is it or is it 480 let's see 60 120 
180, 240, 270. So 270 wire on each side for a total of 540 wire a minute. Uh, one side is going over and being turned into cable. And we need all the wire that we were making. We need to make the cable here, except 30, I guess. So let me just count this out again. Uh, 30, 60, 90, 120, 150, 180, 210, 240. Okay, so it is 240. So we are using all of the wire on this side uh, to make uh, cables, which is way overkill, I think, but it is what it is. And over on this side, we are also making uh, copper sheets. We are producing uh, 60 of those a minute, and they will also go down to storage. Uh, this wire here needs to be sent down to storage. The cable needs to be sent down to storage, and the sheets need to be sent down to storage as well. And so, yeah, that's the, that's the production that we have. So basically, all this mess down here could in reality go away it could in reality go away because we we made everything over here that we were making down there so let's take a look at the outside uh, we can let's run over to the other side of the river here or the the lake oops stuck just to see. So yeah, that's the building. So you can see there are a lot of uh, conveyors going everywhere, pretty much. Uh, and I think that looks pretty cool. I think that looks pretty cool. Of course, we need to close it up and uh, it's not going to be orange, I think not uh, completely anyway but yeah once once we get it closed up and and such i think it's going to look pretty darn cool Ooh, do we have any because i did actually start emptying these guys and they are empty now so do we have any coupons we have 11 coupons let's print them Uh, we're not producing any, so makes sense. Okay, let's take a look at this guy. So we have 11 coupons. I would love the windows walls. I would really, really love the windowed walls. I'd also like these two, and that's actually exactly 11. Attachment. We could do the hypertube wall attachment. And foundations. There are also some interesting items here in the quarter pipes. And the double ramp. We already have the inverted ramp, it seems. I was not aware of that. Yeah, so there's definitely some stuff that's interesting here as well. The cart would be fun, but I think it's more important to get stuff that we need. Uh, the stairs we don't really need. Statues we don't need, but we of course want them. And equipment we don't need to buy. We could buy the cup, but I don't really see a need. And we of course don't need to buy any of this stuff. So let's see what what can we actually buy here? Can we we can buy up to motors at the moment? We can buy fifty motors for five coupons. Jesus, no thanks. So I actually think it's going to be these two. The windowed walls will have to wait. Let's buy those. 
cool. I also uh, did all our our uh, hard drives. So if we take a look. Uh, we have, let's see, iron ingot. We have an alternate for that. We have an alternate for the reinforced uh, plates. We have an alternate for copper ingots, which is quite efficient and which we will be using when we set up our permanent production. Uh, then we have an alternate for the screws in the uh, steel screws. And I think that's it for now. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. Uh, let's... Actually, let's just set up a constructor and see. So we have the alternate steel screws. We have nothing else here. And if we set up a assembler, we have the alternate for stitched iron plate. Oh, and we have the alternate for um, rotors as well which takes wire instead of uh, screws. But we're using the, this one, making the screws. So, yeah. For now, anyway. All right, if we take a look at the backside of the building here, this is a hot mess. This is a hot mess. So we have our two coal lines coming in here. And let me tell you, it was a nightmare getting the coal down. I'll I'll show some of it. Uh, I won't go up there to, to, to show you because I kept getting stuck on invisible foliage. So all of a sudden there was like uh, five bamboos that I jumped into, but you couldn't see them. They were invisible. It was really frustrating. Uh, and uh, of course, I didn't have any uh, bio fuel on me for my chainsaw so I couldn't get out so I had to respawn and it happened several times it was very frustrating very very frustrating but anyway this is our base from the other side it looks messy I would say but that's okay so we have the coal coming in here. We have 270 on each line. That's what the belt can carry. Then we have coal uh, coming up there, there, and there. And this one could actually power another set of uh, uh, smelters or foundries if we needed it to. All our miners are now Mark II miners and some of them uh, are overclocked as well here we have well we have our uh, limestone coming in there then we have four lines of 270 iron or i actually i think it's 240 iron we're doing yeah, so four lines of 240 iron coming in and we actually only need one of them uh, with what we're doing right now. So the other three are just redundancies, you might say. Then we have a line of 270 copper coming in here. And up at the top, we have another line of limestone. So the limestone is coming in on this side. So yeah, that's what it all looks like. That is what it all looks like. And so what I actually want to do now is check out if we stick an assembler down. 
I think we need smart plating for... So that's reinforced iron plate and rotors. We need to get the rotors down to do that. That's modular frames and steel beams. We have both of those coming down. So we could do those for the space elevator. Automated wiring, stators, we are not producing yet, and cable, which we are. So yeah, the only thing that we can actually make right now is the middle one, whatever it was called. Versatile something, I think. Uh, but let's see, what do we actually need for... Space elevator here. We need 500, 500, 100. So we might as well actually start making this versatile framework. Yeah. Okay. Let's do that then. Shouldn't be too hard. Let's get in here. And the versatile framework was you and you. So if we stick an assembler over here. We'll stick a storage container over here. And you need to make versatile framework. And you need you. And you need you. There we go. Once we have power. Can I get some power? I can. So, once that fills up, we'll start producing that. We need 500 of them, so that'll take more than an hour to, to build them, because we're only producing five a minute, but that's okay. Things take time, but now we are producing them, which also means that pretty much all our machines will get going. Yeah, all our machines will get going, actually, because of that. Because we're doing steel, we're doing iron. The copper won't get going, but all our iron machines, because these take reinforced plates and screws. So we're making rods, we're making screws, we're making plates, we're making reinforced plates, and then we're making modular frames. So yeah, pretty much everything will get going here. Which is kind of nice to see everything on the move. Uh, which will happen, because I have a, a plan. Let's see, how much power are we spending? Not that much. 350, 400. So, yeah. Around 400, let's see. That's not too bad. Okay. Things are a moving. Oh yeah, I set these guys up here: a workshop and uh, a craft bench, and a few personal storage boxes, just to have it here, so I don't have to run all the way over there every time I need it. But yeah, yeah. So well.
So what we're gonna do next is... Well, we, we need to send up the space elevator. And of course we need to make stators and motors. So the rotors are coming out here for the motors. And here we have this. We need that to go down. Uh, let's see, where do we have some space to send it down? We could do... Could actually do just the first two here. That would work. That would work. That is our copper going up, our copper ingots. So yeah, we could just send it down there. Yeah. Wah! Dang it. We're gonna die. Oh, that was close. We didn't die though. A little higher up than we would have. I'll just eat all these barrel nuts. And grab some more. Just in there. Okay. So they could come down here and go in there. That would be rotors and uh, industrial beams. And then we could have motors or something. We don't need stators to come down here, I think. Well, we do for... for these. But we could also just make those up top. No one says that it has to be down here. Yeah, I think that's easier because stator, we don't really need a stator for anything else, uh, for anything that we need to handcraft. Or any machines or anything, so there's really no point in sending the stators down to storage. There really isn't. So yeah. So, rotors, industrial beams. Motors. Uh, anything else that we're missing getting down? I don't think so. Not at the moment, anyway. Yeah, I don't think so. That's rods and plates. This is modular frames. This is reinforced iron plate. Concrete, screws, steel beams, uh, steel pipes. But yeah, it's just those three things, I guess. And they could come down here or something like that, and then we're we're done with this um, with this tier. With tiers up to four. So that's not too bad. That is not too shabby at all. But yeah, uh, I will, in between episodes, uh, get that stuff uh, built, uh, these guys built, and the other stuff we need for the space elevator. And uh, then we'll send off the space elevator to unlock tiers 5 and 6 in the next one. So again, sorry for the delay in this episode, but I, I simply... Well, I got carried away in building, for one. And then I haven't really had that much time to record, because I was recording other stuff as well. And uh, there's been a lot of work lately, so... Yeah, it is what it is, but now it's here, and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. So, thank you very much for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.